So Spock's half human and half Vulcan? That means he's not really a Vulcan, though. I mean, how do humans and Vulcans do it anyways? I mean, is it logical? Oh, hello there. I'm Garrison, and you're not. And this is my iPod vlog number 312, second part to Monday Madness. Monday, November 7th, 2016. Monday, Monday. Uh, God, I love that day. Yes, it's iPod vlog number 312. This is Monday, November 7th, 2016. Tomorrow is November 8th when the people vote for the President of the United States of America and we find out who he is or who she is at, by the end of the week. Okay. Anyhow, as soon as I find out, I'll tell you. Probably Wednesday. I don't know. I'm going to guess. I think it's going to be the asteroid. Anyways, today, my brothers, Phil, Mark, and myself, we went to the Boom A Rang restaurant and had half price burgers, which were the double burger, the two... The half pound burger, which is actually two patties together, and some cheese and so forth, and whatnot. And my brother Mark had one without pickles, and we all had drinks. And I, I don't know what they drinks were. I think Mark had root beer, and Phil had some kind of Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi or something. And I had Sierra Mist, and I still have it right here. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Ah. Mm. Mm -mm. Ah. Right now it's. 6 p.m. Later on today, I'm going to do a video on my Emo Warrior Garrison channel. I'm going to do two videos. I'm going to post two videos about Super Anime Man. He's going to be fighting clowns, exclamation point, cycle clowns, and monsters, exclamation point. That's number three and four. Episodes three and four of Super Anime Man. That's on my Emo Warrior Garrison channel. If you want to see those other channels, just look under About. And then you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook and MySpace and uh, Instagram and whatever else. And underneath that, you can see all my other channels. You could, you could subscribe to my main channel, Mr. Blue View 972. There's, there's videos there. You can subscribe to this channel, Mr. Blue View 972. You can subscribe to my third channel, Guessing Around Stuff. There's videos there. And you can subscribe to my fourth channel, Emo Warrior Garrison. And there's videos there. And you can subscribe to my other channel, Gelson Kids Jr. It has puppet sh there, puppet shows, puppet shows, yes. And also on this channel, check out the playlist. And you could look for Mr. Blue Few and answer his two questions. What is funny and what is cringy. And then you can look for the Blue Wizard and listen to his two wise sayings. One is three steps and the other one is called never weakens. Never gets weak. And it's a fascinating digital world. And I'm glad you're in there with me. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about myths like Hercules, which supposedly was half god and half man. He was really strong. Apparently his father Zeus, which was also named Jupiter in Latin, Zeus in Greek, had this, uh, had, you know, did it with a human being, a human woman, woman, even though he was married to a, some goddess or something, who was also his sister or something. Weird. And you know, and, and then he, he had the son, and son was in... in Latin called Hercules, and in Greek is Herac Her Her Hercules or Heracles, Heracles, something like that. Anyways, in English it's Hercules, and he had super strength. He did all these adventures and so forth. Blah blah blah. And and I think Conan, which is a modern myth, which was made made up by this kind of early 20th century, he he probably based his story of Conan on on, on Hercules. But anyways, there's also the myth of of a guy named Achilles when he was a baby. His mother dipped him into this, this water that's supposed to make him immune to any kind of fighting, you know, invulnerable, that nothing will hurt him ever. But she was holding him by his heels, upside down, you know, where his feet were. And then when she, when she, when he dried, the parts of, of his feet, his Achilles heel, his heels, were not covered by the liquid. And therefore, he, that was his weakness. And he got killed by someone shooting an arrow into his heel, and he bled to death from there. But other than that, he had super, he had super strength, super powers, and no one could, uh, arrows bounced off of him. Nothing hurt him except his heels, and that's why he usually covered his heels. But someone cut his heels and then cut one of his heels. I think it was an arrow. I think it was. He died. That's stupid. It's stupid. I know. Then there's this story about this guy named Ulysses. I think it was, who went on an adventure, 
got stuck on some island and did some other stuff for years. And then finally, the gods wouldn't let him get back to his wife. So his wife presumed he was dead. So everybody had to do a ceremony where his wife had to find somebody suitable to get married. So she said, I'm going to have a contest. I'm going to see if anybody could, could string the bow, which is a bow for bow and arrow, you know, that her husband had because her husband was super strong and, and only he could put the, the string on the bow. And everybody tried and tried and they couldn't do it. But Hercules, not Hercules, I mean Achilles, not Achilles. What was his name again? Ulysses. I'm getting confused. Ulysses came back after all those years, I think of 15 years, 20 years, something like that. He came back, but he's disguised. And he heard about the contest, so he went up there and he put the string on the bow real fast. And then he shot the arrow. And then everybody realized it was uh, Ulysses. And then they were all angry and he beat up some people and, and killed some other guys, I think, just to, to prove a point because they wanted his wife. And they showed his wife that she's still alive. And she was like, yay! And he was like, yay! And they, they lived happily ever after. That was stupid, though. Okay? Dumb. I don't understand. Oh, and there's also the, the story of Sinbad, the sailor. He went on adventures. He he, he fought a uh, one-eyed giant, uh, Cyclops, I think, and some skeletons and all kinds of... It's kind of a more of a modern type myth based on... Uh, uh, 1001 Arabian Nights or something like that. But anyway, Sinbad was supposed to be an Arab or Arabic kind of character. But anyways, they made movies about it in the early 20th century where he's fighting skeletons and stuff like that. So cool! And also this this um, Cyclops that was eating his people. He blinded the Cyclops. And then, I don't think he killed the Cyclops. I think he just blinded in one story. Anyways, and then he, he was the son, the Cyclops was supposedly the son of um, the the god of the sea or something which is Uranus in one story and Neptune in another story right right it's Neptune yeah Neptune or what was Neptune also called I don't know anyways the, the god of the sea I think it was Neptune yeah Neptune god of the sea he was uh the father of the what the Cyclops I don't know it's all weird also there's another story about this guy who was a son of the gods but they cursed him because he was arrogant and they gave him a head, head of a bull and he became a bullheaded creature, and they and they they trapped in this this uh, uh, maze, and then they had some people going on there, whenever they want to get rid of somebody, to get killed by the bullheaded god, half god, or whatever it was. But somebody went down there and killed him, and took his head, and came back up, and, and showed everybody, yay! Those are myths. There's other kind of myths. They're just like legends, but they're a little bit older, but like the myth of. Atlantis! Plato talked about this island of Atlantis where super advanced people were so arrogant that the gods destroyed them in one day and one night with with all kinds of disasters, a volcano, lightning, uh, an explosion, and then the island was gone, and then the wave of water covered the space where the island used to be, and it was washed off the face of the earth, and nothing's left of Atlantis. Yeah. Except a few people survived to tell a story because they, they left Atlantis just before it happened. But when they went back to Atlantis, the island was gone, and they found out that that it was, it was destroyed because they saw it from a distance, supposedly. And that's how the story passed on. Because if no one survived, how would anybody know if the land was gone? You know what I mean? <laughs> but anyways, it could be based on the story of how this one island in in the Mediterranean got blown up by a super volcano because it was built on a caldera which is a super volcano and exploded and destroyed it and some of the people escaped beforehand because they, they felt the earthquakes and they left because it kept the volcano kept erupting so they finally left and then the volcano exploded it finally finally exploded and destroyed the island and there's hardly anything left of the island it's a little tiny island right now and I think the island is called Santorini or something like that I think it's near Greece or somewhere or Italy Somewhere around there. Uh, yeah, tomorrow's election day. And I'll tell you who won! Question mark, exclamation point, question mark, about what I'm going to do on iPod Vlogger 313. This is iPod Vlogger 312, second part two, Monday Madness! Monday Madness! Miss! Miss! Do you have a myth that you that you like to tell me, or do you know of any? Ask me down below, in the, or tell me down below, or ask me questions, uh, tell me your stories, and like this video, don't like this video, uh, comment suggestions. Uh, subscribe to this channel. I subscribe to your channel. Just tell me what channel you have. Okay, and I'll see you next time. I'm Garrison, and you're not. And this is Monday Madness Part 2 ending. <gasps>
iPod Vlogged Number 3 and 12. Miss! Tomorrow, iPod Vlogged Number 3 and 13 will be <gasps> Who Won? Question mark, exclamation point, question mark, and also called Election Day! Exclamation point! That's when we find out who the President of the United States will be. Eventually, if I don't find out that day, I'll tell you on iPod Vlogged Number 3 and 14, which is which will be Wednesday, tomorrow's Tuesday, then Wednesday, I might tell you. Uh, the president of the United States, the uh, president of the U.S. is, I don't know. But if I find out by Wednesday, I'll tell you. But if I don't know, I'll just put a question mark, and then you'll find out yourself by Googling it. Anyways, end of the vlog song. Let's sing it together. End of the vlog, end of the vlog, end of the vlog, end of the vlog. If you want to, know about, if you want to contact me directly, just contact me through Twitter. Look under About and look at my Twitter account. The main one I use is Mr. Blue for you, of course. And then the other one is just for fun and then whatever. Okay. In the log and log by.